Hello my YouTube fans. So I am here with a new video and in this video I will tear down Dell Latitude 5530 laptop. So the look and feel of the laptop is really good and it is completely made up of metallic body. This is an air inlet for cooling and uh, uh, this one is the air outlet. So the exhaust outlet will be that, that one and this is the inlet. So apart from this, uh, you can see the rubberized pad is given beneath the laptop and these are projected very nicely so that if you will keep it on the tabletop, it will have sufficient amount of gap for air inlet. You can observe that the screen has ability to open up to the angle of 180 degrees, which is of no use. I'm not sure why this is projected as a feature. Anyway, this is having the physical camera shutter which you have to operate manually and this is very good feature for any laptop. Oops, I forgot one thing. So here is the label of Intel V Pro i7 inside the laptop. Uh, now let's quickly start for the teardown process. So all total it is having 8 screws on the back chassis. Uh, let me loosen all the screws quickly. However, the best part is like I don't need to bother about keeping the screws carefully as it will remain attached to the back chassis. And this is the best feature what I have uh, observed in last two laptop, I mean this laptop and my last video if you have observed that is regarding the Dell Latitude 5400 laptop teardown. So I hope this will be implemented by other companies as well because this is very good property or feature of a laptop so anyway let me make this fast forward for you to save the time and in the meanwhile you can have a look on the laptop's specifications you can pause the video to check it properly And here we go so the back chassis has been detached successfully and let me keep this apart uh, here is the internal view uh, let me show you the internal view of the back chassis there are two speaker outlet ventilator and this is air inlet ventilator apart from this it is having the uh, body earth ground touch point these are the touch points and this is the ethernet mechanism so nowadays you will not have the bigger port on the laptop instead it is having the sliding sliding port you need to slide this uh, metallic part down to insert the rj45 connector that is the ethernet connector as you could see there are two slots given for sstm.2 drive installation which is awesome however the other slot slot number two is empty and the drive is installed on slot number one so based upon your requirement you could connect another drive to slot number two this one is the slot number two so let me open up the slot number one i want you to see the drive how it is connected so now i am opening uh, the the package the coverage of the uh, ssd slot number one so it is a thin metallic seat which is also uh, working here as a shielding for drive and of course the, what I am removing now is the heat compound uh, I have taken out the drive and this is the heat compound I will remove this to check the uh, drive specification so this drive is uh, like of Samsung brand 512GB M.2 PCIe Gen 4 SSD. It is very latest drive and it is super fast. This is very good drive. You can see it is of Samsung brand. A very nice drive. So uh, I will remove the slot number 2 uh, cover as well to show you. So you can see this slot is empty there is nothing installed on it and uh, the heat compound is given by the company in case you are installing any other SSD you can use the heat compound. So heat compound is very necessary to, uh, uh, to absorb the heat from the SSD. 
because uh, it will it will uh, add the performance to the SSD drive. This that is very important part. So let me just fix the slot number one uh, shielding the coverage. Now time to fix another screw. It's done. And now time to fix this drive uh, in the slot number one. I will just push it very gently and press it towards the motherboard. Now time to fix the shielding, the coverage and I will put on the screws. There are two screws as you have seen in the previous SSD slot. And these are the RAMs. This is Wi-Fi card and this one is HDMI port. There are two USB port as well and this is 3.5 mm jack and this is micro sd card slot from inside it is having additional protective uh, plastic layering and this is rj45 the ethernet port these are the speakers positioned on the front side of the laptop bottom chassis so these are stereo speakers hence these are installed on either side of the chassis and this is the battery the biggest part inside the laptop this is of 58 watt hour means uh, around 3500 milliampere hour which is written over here so this battery capacity is very low however uh, it is giving the backup uh, in ideal condition let's say if you are doing web browsing it will give you the backup till 11 hour and if you are watching any video it will give you backup until 8.5 hours however i have experienced if i am doing rigorous work uh, with uh, uh, some graphical level of thing or gaming type of thing so it will give the backup of around four to five hours that's it now let's check the rams random access memory so this ram is of samsung brand and it is of 16 gb uh, and this ram slot is the second ram slot means slot b and this is ram slot one so this is also the identical ram it is also having 16 gb however you can extend it up to 32 gb means all total you can have 64 gb of ram in this particular system oh hold on guys i need to check one more thing so this is the first time i'm seeing here uh, it is made in vietnam that's that's really uh, different for me i mean uh, basically these things whenever i have opened these type of things or whenever i have observed the ram those are made in china or made in korea so you can have a close look of ram over here so you can see it is of samsung brand and one ram is of 16 gb uh, so it is made in Vietnam that's great let me just put it back to the RAM slot that's it now last but not the least is the heat sink and the exhaust fan you could clearly observe this heat sink is having dual pipe which will transfer the heat very quickly from processor and GPU to the fan so I can say that this heat sink is of uh, very good quality you can say uh, the combination of heatsink and the exhaust fan as a cooling unit so cooling unit of this laptop is of very good quality and that's the great thing and that's it guys so I will just fix the back chassis quickly on its position I will just tighten all the screws so that's it in this video if you have learned uh, something about this laptop or if you have learned something new you can share this video to another person so that they could also learn it and subscribe my channel for the latest update do like this video and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will get the notification quickly on your device see you in the next video till then stay healthy stay tuned bye bye